Uber Eats, $4.43, 4.2 miles. DoorDash, $4.75, 4.6 miles. Oh, I forgot to mention you guys may want one of these things. It, It's like a phone holder that attaches to a, a edge of a table. And it holds the phone. Uh, so that way I don't have to worry about holding the phone while I sit here. It just, it just suspends it in midair. And it also comes with this kind of like a a light thing that you can um like if you wanted to you can you can uh you know use it also as a lamp so it's like a combination of a lamp and also a um a thing to hold your phone while you wait for offers to come in it's pretty cool i'll have to add it to my links in um then in the description i have a whole bunch of amazon links that relate to um um, you know, anything that I buy that relates to doing my gig work. Buddy, it is Thursday, July 25th. It's 5.57 a.m. And we got an Uber Eats offer uh, for $7.16 to go to Starbucks. And we got to drive 3.4 miles. Let's get on down there. Somebody in the comments uh, mentioned uh, something about my delivery bag. And they wanted a, a link to, so that, you know, so they can get one. I guess they liked it. So... I said, oh, shoot, I haven't set up my Amazon affiliate thing where I can make uh, make revenue from people clicking on links and shopping on Amazon to get things that I happen to, to bring up or show in my videos. So there I was at about 4 a.m. <laughs> getting that all set up and trying to build, build the, the list of things that I thought people would be interested in. So, uh, so yeah, so I was all excited about that. It took me a couple of hours, though, to get it all, um, you know, all set up. Well, it's not completely set up yet, but to get it so that it's, it's partially functional, where people can at least see, you know, a few things. Because I just, as I was making the list, it just kept growing. I'm like, oh, yeah, what about this? Like, what about the, the um, seat protectors that I have in the car? What about the this you know the mesh um the mesh uh, organizer that i keep in between my uh seats of the of my car in the front you know to keep things from disappearing so i can easily store things away but get access to them if i need to so just all kinds of stuff that you know that appears in the videos that i'm sure people wonder when they see it but they don't think to ask me they're just like oh those are nice seat covers or or, oh, I like that, that shirt that, that he wears that has that ocean wave on it. So just all kinds of just incidental things. Or my thermos, you know, it's like, oh, well, people might like this, this thermos that I drink out of. I'm like, oh, I'll put that on there. Or what sometimes I talk about like the sunscreen that I'm wearing. I'll put a link in the thing there for the sunscreen that I'm wearing. So it's crazy how many different products that I get off of Amazon that I never even thought about that probably show up in my videos or I just randomly talk about that people may be interested in getting. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there and see what happens. And I guess Amazon said that um, as long as three people buy something in the next 180 days, then I will be officially a part of the program. Right now, I'm just on a trial basis. It's basically like you know, they're like saying, okay, while well, you're in the program for now, but if nobody buys anything in the next 180 days, we're going to kick you out of the program. So hopefully somebody, some of you guys out there will go to Amazon and purchase something. And it doesn't have to be those items. As long as you click on the link and then you buy something, even if it's just some regular stuff that you normally buy, that's going to, that, that's going to work just as good.
we really on it today. Uber Eats, $4.07, 6.6 .6 miles now. Okay, we're on our way to a house. I think it might be a townhouse. Five minutes from here, 1.5 miles. And I gotta go a different direction because they're doing all kinds of crazy things on the entrance that I went in through. And I ain't dealing with that. I like the, uh, the setup that they have now inside of that Starbucks ever since it's been remodeled. Uh, the the speed that they're able to so far the speed that they're able to put out the orders is is way way faster than it ever was before and just i i don't know they may even have a dedicated employee who's assembling the orders whereas before they didn't and um and the way that it's set up you're separated from regular customers you have like um when you barely walk in the door, you immediately walk up to the counter that's for delivery drivers. And then way over on the far end of the counter is where the customers wait in line to get, you know, to place their orders or to pick up, I don't know if they pick up their orders there, but when I walked up to the Starbucks counter where, the, where, I, would, where I normally go to pick up the orders, there was already like three other people's orders just sitting there waiting to be picked up and the names were facing outward so you can see your order. And then there was a there was a, a lady there that was putting was was in the process of, make, of putting together another order. So it seemed like they had a dedicated person. So that's going to be that place is going to be so easy to do a pickups from. It's not even funny. All right, we made it inside the townhouse community and i think it's going to be this first street on the right Turn right on Ford, it, then drop oh, off that's on the not left. it that's a parking that's parking it's going to be this one coming up right here these streets are so narrow got to be real careful crunch four dollars six point seven miles four dollars and fifty cents three point two miles dash fifteen dollars six point six miles shopping for two orders two distinct items that sounds good to be keeping uh the strategy at uh two dollars for every mile for now and uh i'm still gonna do uh shopping orders only if they are uh ten dollars or higher uh and i think that's what i'm gonna do for shopping i was like i was still debating like maybe if there's only just one item i have to get i can do that for two dollars for every mile but usually those that whenever i get uh requests where it's just one item the item isn't in stock or there's some type of issue so i just i may still stick with the ten dollar minimum uh especially for grocery stores but maybe for like like for CVS and Walgreens, since the stores are small, uh, and it doesn't, it usually isn't that hard to find find things when you're in Walgreens or CVS because they just aren't as big as like a grocery store. So I still got to think about that one, but I'm definitely going to stick with the two dollars for every mile because I'm just going to be able to get more um, more opportunities and get, and get done hopefully a lot a lot sooner. The uh, shopping order here at Vons. It was a little bit misleading. We don't have to do any shopping. We have to pick up two grocery orders at the um, at the pickup area. So I don't know how many cases of water we're dealing with. I have no idea how big these loads are going to be, but we're going to find out together. I do know that at this store, I've got to I've got to bring in two shopping carts. I got to push them over to the pickup area, and. Uh, yeah, hopefully the orders aren't too too large.
the groceries really fast, so that, that makes it real simple. Uh, the first one is going to be, and I believe it's the one in the trunk, and it's going to be five minutes from here, 1.7 miles, contactless delivery. Looks like it's going to be a house, so hopefully there's not going to be a lot of stairs because this customer has a lot of stuff. I don't even think it, it 100% won't fit on the flatbed cart, all of it. So it's going to be a minimum of two trips that I'm going to have to make to get it all dropped off. So nothing is extremely heavy. I didn't get any cases of water. It's mostly just a lot of frozen food and canned goods. So it's not too bad. There's no gate. So that's the good news. And these houses, I don't think they have any steps that lead to their front doors, I don't think. At least the ones I've delivered to in the past. So I think it's going to be an easy drop off. And uh, I may even back into their driveway and then I wouldn't have to use the, car, the flatbed cart at all. I could just start taking bags back and forth. It's just going to depend whether or not they have, you know, cars in the driveway, you know, whatever's blocking my way. You always have to figure out once you get to the drop off, like what the obstacles are, are and then that's how you can make your decision, like what you're going to do. OK, one more right. And then I'm going to make another right and it's going to be on the right hand side. Let me try to get the address. Okay, let's see, is it this one? No. Is it the next one? No. It, it's this one here with all the cars. I and I can't back into the driveway and I can't use the cart. Fantastic. <laughs> a much easier delivery than I thought the bags weren't heavy they were just bulky so when I luckily I had everything in those in my delivery bag so I just put a bunch of them in one hand and a bunch of them in the other and I was able to do it all just in two trips and then they had some some table uh, like a table and chairs there so I could put like the cold stuff on top of tables and then all the other stuff on the ground so not too bad so the next one's going to be four minutes from here uh, 1.4 miles it's going to be it looks like it might be an well it's an apartment and uh, they just give me instructions on uh, how to get to the apartment and, and it's also a contactless delivery so customer instructions say that that it's off of a golf course so i'm gonna follow the pin that they dropped on the map and see if I can find it. I may have to go scout first. Although, no, it's not that many bags. So I guess I can just carry them to wherever I need to. It's hard to see um, building numbers in this particular um, place. So let's see if I can do it. I think it's the, I've been, think I've been to this place before. It seems kind of familiar. So I think it's this one way over here. See how far in the distance where all those trees are. So I'm going to go over there and I think that says 35 though. Let's see. I don't think that's it. No, that's, that's not it. Um, I need to go to the next one. Because I don't think any of these are it. Thank goodness for good vision off of the golf course let's see let me try going around one more i wish they had better markings for their um buildings 
Like they should put them like right. They should put them right off of the road. Okay, it's this one way in the back. All right. La casa del merengue, la 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 la, y la casa de la bachata. I got a, a personal errand I have to run. I have a uh, microphone I bought on Amazon that just doesn't have the right connector. So I've got to go to Whole Foods and just drop it off so I get the, the credit back to my Amazon account. process was really easy i was i was gonna leave i got there and the uh return uh you know when you wait in line to return your amazon product was closed and i was heading to the exit i'm like well it's closed i gotta come back at 9 a.m and uh the, the doors wouldn't open because it's an entrance only which thank goodness they were so i turned around and started heading to another set of doors to get out of whole foods and there was a kiosk a self-help kiosk for Amazon returns. I had never seen it before. So all I had to do was scan the, you know, the barcode that Amazon sent me into that machine. And then it said um, to grab a poly bag and they have all these little, you know, plastic bags to put merchandise in and, and it has like a self-adhesive end to it or flap. And so I put my product in there and sealed it. Then it said, um, your label is printing or print the label and the label printed out and fell, you know, and went, came out of the machine and it says, put this on the poly bag. So I put that on the bag. It says now drop it into the box and this box unlocked to the right of me. And I dropped it in the chute and closed it. And it says, are you done returning your, your, your merchandise? I said, yes. And it said, you're, you're, you're all done. It says, you're all set. You'll get an email within 24 hours. Um, um, uh, showing that you returned it and that's it uh, uber eat six dollars 43 cents 8.7 miles so that was really efficient so i'm gonna whenever i return stuff i'm gonna come here knowing that i can come here as early as it is now it's it's a little after 7 a.m and so it's gonna save me a lot of time um and i used to in the olden days i used to go to the ups store but this is way better especially for small items it works out really really good I'm in the whole foods parking lot and i got an offer from uh uh DoorDash to go to uh, Wendy's, $5, 1.9 miles. <laughs> Something's coming in from Uber Eats. I got to close that out. Let's see if I can do the drive through because it's too early to go inside of Wendy's. It's not going to be open, the, the regular entrance. Order really fast. Everything's going really good today, except this one truck in front of me is going really slow. And I don't know why. Maybe he wants to just park and eat his food or something. Get Just get out of my way, dude. Okay, now there's this car driving really fast, not paying any attention. Okay, come on, people. I got to tell, tell my YouTube audience what's going on. <laughs> so we're going to be going to a house. It's a leave at the door. Please leave on the table if possible. Coincidentally, we're in the same neighborhood that... 
we did the Vons, one of the Vons grocery orders in, which is really weird. Sometimes there's like uh, these weird coincidences that happen sometimes. It's always really weird when you drop off to the same house twice. You're like, I just dropped off at this house. And you go again later in the day. That's really bizarre. But this isn't the same house. So it's going to be on the left. And I got to remember to leave the food on the table by the door. They said if possible. The customer requested so let's the see. Order. Is it this first house? Yeah, yep. It's this first house. I think I can just turn into. I think I can just turn into their driveway. I think. Should be fine. All right, here I go. He just sent me a uh, comment saying to talk about the new DoorDash in-home delivery. And uh, I wish I could talk about it, but I don't know anything about it except for what people have said in the comments. Because I've gotten no, no formal um, email or anything from DoorDash about it. Uh, from the comments, uh, uh, Uber Eats $6.08, 4.1 miles. No. From the comments, people have, um, have said that you get an extra $3 if you go inside of people's houses and deliver the groceries into their house wherever they want them. You know, like the kitchen or wherever the heck they want them. So, um, yeah, so I have done that in the past, but the people usually will ask me to do it when I get to their door. And I'm sure a lot of you have also done it too, where they just kind of ask you, like, oh, can you put them in the kitchen for me? And then it just depends on the the situation. You know, if it's a, you know, usually the people that ask, it's usually ladies that are very, that are elderly and that have like some kind of physical, you know, disability. So I don't have a problem doing it. I'm like, well, whatever. But um, I've never been in a situation where I've been in an area that seems sketchy and they asked me to go in. They never do. They barely even answer the door. So uh, for someone to... So if DoorDash wants to pay me extra money to drop off people's stuff inside their house, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Um, the only time it would be it would be different if I was going to an area that I didn't feel safe in, then I'd be like, well, I don't feel safe in this area. But I wouldn't be in that area to begin with because I sort of stay within my own um, my own neighborhood where I feel like I know, you know, I know, I know the, uh, I feel comfortable with where I'm at. I don't feel like there's a lot of unknown variables that could happen that are dangerous. And also the time of day that I deliver, I feel pretty safe delivering in as well. So, um, so yeah, so that's just my opinion on it. Uber Eats, $12.05, 14.4 miles, no. So that's just my opinion on on that program. And um, and yeah, so it just depends on, on uh, who you are, where you live, and what you're comfortable with. I, I got another one, it just came in from uh, DoorDash, and it's uh, $5.50, 2.8 miles, coffee, bean, and tea leaf. Let's get down there it to the district they're doing a lot of construction in here but they haven't put the cones up so I'm not exactly sure what's happening usually they have cones up oh here it says street closed okay so I'll make a left here I don't know why they don't put the cones up uh, in another in the spot why do they have that door open <laughs> guess I'll go to the back head to the rear part and park and then uh, this works out good in a way because I got to use the restroom. So I'll go into the coffee bean and use the restroom first before I um, pick up. So what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I was just thinking like like if I felt like I didn't want to interact with strangers, I wouldn't do the um, delivery inside of the houses because it wouldn't feel right to go in there. Boy, the parking, I think, is really busy back here. Let's see, is there a spot for me? Oh, there's one spot, thank goodness. So, yeah, there, like if, you don't, if you're not comfortable doing like the Uber driving and the Lyft driving, you know, like people in your car, don't go inside people's houses. You're going to get PTSD.
It's right here. Walk up on the left. Yep. Looks like we're going to be going to a business. Uh, four minutes from here, 1.2 miles. Leave at the door. So far, it's been uh, very busy this morning, so I'll go back to doing my park and wait um, strategy and uh, just hang out because I'll probably be getting offers right away. And maybe I'll, if I'm lucky, I'll finish early today. I'm, I'm just at a little, almost at 17 miles on the car already, so. I'm only going to go up to, you know, up to 30 mile-ish, 30-ish miles today. And uh, then I'm going to just stop at that point. So it doesn't matter how early it is. That's how far I'm going. And whatever money I make, hopefully I'll make at least $50 here. I've been here before recently. I wonder if it's that same bank as last time. I just got to look for the suite number. No, it's not that That's bank, so... And they said leave it at the they door, which is weird. Leave at my door. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna leave it at the door. <laughs> Uber Eats, six dollars and twelve cents for four point six miles. Three dollars and two cents, four point two miles. Six dollars fifty eight cents, four point eight miles. I'm not exactly sure how long I should wait until something comes in. Uh, it is eight a.m. now. I guess I'll just wait another five minutes. I'm in the shade here, so it's comfortable, and I'm in a busy part of town. So let's see what happens. Four dollars seven cents, five point four miles. Show you my equipment bag while we're waiting. So this is my drive equipment bag, and I see I put all of my rags here at the bottom to absorb any spills. In the front, I have a pocket here, and I keep my different pricing schedules in case I want to charge some kind of weird rates. I have them all broken down by my miles to money. I got like a little pocket here and I put all the receipts, you know, all those stupid receipts that I get from Vons and Albertsons, all the grocery stores. And then I got a pocket here where I keep all the things to make the car not stink. I got this um, body spray and then I got this atomizer and it makes, it has rubbing alcohol in it. Something's coming in from, from, uh, our friends at DoorDash, $20.50 for 14.9 miles. That's not gonna work. Something's coming in from Uber Eats, $4.07, 4.3 miles, nope. Oh yeah, so maybe this is something you guys would be interested in. Girls use this on their hair. It makes like a fine mist. See, look, see the fine mist? It makes a real fine mist, but instead of water, I put in rubbing alcohol and it makes the car smell like a medical clinic, you know, real sterilized. Six dollars, nine cents, 4.6 miles. Dollars, 5.4 miles. Nine dollars, 19 cents, 9.9 miles. Five dollars, 38 cents, 7.6 miles. Five dollars, six cents, 5.8 miles. Boy, I'm getting tired of being here. I might leave pretty soon. I've been here now for, I don't know, almost 10 minutes. And I'm getting tired of being here. <laughs> I mean, it's not hot. It's comfortable because I'm at least in the shade. But, you know, I always feel creepy being somewhere, you know, that I have no business being. So after a while, I start to feel like I need to get the heck out of here. This is just this is just too, uh, too strange for me. So I'm going to give it three more minutes. Uh, something's coming in. Twelve dollars, six cents, six point five miles Walmart. That's a no. Seven dollars, nine cents, five miles. Four dollars, fourteen cents, two point five miles. 
Uh, DoorDash, $9 for 4.6 miles. All right. Okay, well, this, is, this could be the last delivery that I'm going to be doing uh, only because when I finally complete this offer and then I start to head back, I'll almost be at 30 miles. So, but maybe I'll get an, an offer that, um, that, you know, once I do the drop off, maybe I'll get an offer from that, from that point. And then I may, maybe I'll be able to do one more. So it's hard to say. We'll have to just wait and see. I don't know if it's going to be ready because I was so close to this restaurant and they're not really known for being real quick with having the orders ready. They're usually, usually when you get there, you have to wait and, and you have to sit, <clears throat> excuse me, and you have to sit outside and wait for the order because there's no real place to sit down when you're inside there usually. All right, I'm turning in here and uh, let's hope it's ready. No, it's not ready. Great. Have a good day. Okay. Yep. Got it. Okay, thank you. I like going to scramble because the the tips are usually pretty big, but I don't like the waiting, especially uh, having to wait outside for the uh, orders because it's hot outside. And in the winter time you freeze. So I usually avoid going there. Uh, but I figured, well, I had wait, so many offers came in that were bad. And I think I had been sitting there for, I think, it was gonna be over 10 minutes, I think. Yeah, it was gonna be over 10 minutes I had been at that location. So I was I was getting ready to give up and head home. So when, when this came in, I was like, well, I might as well take it. And we're gonna be traveling 3.4 miles, seven minutes. It's a leave at the door. Please do not ring the doorbell. Thank you so much. So I got three drinks I have to deliver and then just one bag of food I think I should be able to hold the camera uh, with the bag that with the hand that's holding the bag of food I think I'll be okay somebody was saying like like why don't I get one of those cameras that I strap to my or that I put onto my chest or something that's too invasive for us too like obvious you know when you go into the stores and people see that you have a camera on your chest even if it's small people recognize it they know that it's a camera so it is it is a um it becomes a uh, rude it becomes offensive to people people actually take it as a negative thing they feel like they're being secretly recorded and so you don't want to give that you don't want anyone to have that um, impression because then you're 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 risking confrontation, like problems with people getting angry with you, and potentially you get banned from the store for doing it. Whereas the way I record, it's just my phone that I'm holding in my hand, so it's not it's not anything that people would ever think is is recording them they just think oh you're just holding your phone in your hand so it works out really it works out really good that way and um, I know that some people use uh, GoPros to do their recording which I think the the video quality is great but the battery life is terrible the batteries don't last that long at all whereas 
um, on my phones, they go for an extremely long time. For my entire uh, shift, I, I don't think I really have to charge it. And uh, no, I don't think I do. At least not the one in my car. The one that I use with all the apps, I constantly have to charge that one because it's using, um, it's using the Wi-Fi and the phone service to constantly be uploading and downloading uh, data for the apps and that sucks battery like crazy but the other one it just records video and I have it I think I have it on airplane mode so it's not doing anything but recording like a camera and I'm currently at the outer edge of the um, you know the boundary for uh, DoorDash you know my zone my door dashing zone so I don't know if I'm going to park and wait here or not. I guess I'll give it a shot and see what happens. I'm at 22 miles on the car. Uh, let's see. So I got about 8 miles left. So it's going to be on the left here, it says. But there's nothing here on the left. I've Obviously, I have to make a left turn here, obviously. Uh, let's see. And it's, that's this very first house. I think I'll turn in the driveway. I don't think they'll mind. They seem like friendly people. All right, here we go. There's no phone service here, so I've got to move. I've got to get to wherever I can get phone service. At least I was barely able to get a... I was barely able to get a picture of the uh, front door. So at least I was able to do that. But right now I got, I got no internet. Like a McDonald's uh, about, about a three quarters of a mile from here. I'll go ahead and... Uh, park over there and wait for an offer to come in and because I got I got I'll have about <laughs> I'll have about six or seven miles left that I can use and if I go over it's gonna be fine and it's so early it's only 8 33 a.m. right now which is which is wild because it has been so slow normally I'm not exactly sure why it's gotten busier maybe it's the it's the uh because we're towards the end of the week and it's Thursday maybe that's why it's getting um, it's getting busier oh I finally got internet again DoorDash three dollars twenty five cents for two miles I guess I have to make about eight dollars and change more to get to my uh, fifty dollar goal so I don't know if I'm gonna sit here and wait for, for an offer that's at least $8 plus, or if I'm just gonna take another $5 offer. I probably will just take another $5, because it's not, it's not super important that I hit exactly $50, but uh, you know, but it would be nice. And it's so early, it's 8.37, and normally I go all the way to 11. DoorDash, $10.25 for 9.5 miles. $7.07, .07, 5.3 miles. $13.50 for 8.9 miles. $4, 6.9 miles. I've been here for 15 minutes and nothing. Nothing good anyway. So I guess I'm gonna start heading back uh, towards the house. And um, I guess if I get one more offer, even if I go over my miles, that'll be the last one. You know what, I, I just came up with an idea since I only have to do one more, and I don't really have to do one more, and it's so early, I'm gonna leave the app on, and I'm gonna try to get an offer that's at least $15, $2 for every mile, and, uh, and I'll just leave the app running while I start working on the video back at home. And uh, I, should get, I should get one because uh, it's 9 o'clock, so 10, 11, so that gives me two hours to get at least a f one, one more, and I should get at least a $15 shopping order, and if I don't, it don't matter. $1.41 for two miles. 
and it's almost noon. We're so out of luck today. I think I've been waiting for an offer to come in for probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I finished the video probably at a, I finished editing all the footage that I had for the video, I think at around 10, I want to say. So it's been two hours and uh, nothing good has come in. And uh, I thought for sure by now we'd, I'd get something worth taking, but it looks like we're going to be wrapping up. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it just one more hour and then that's it. Then I'm going to, I'm going to turn it all off. Oh, wait, something's coming in. $18.72 for 10.5 miles. I'm not going to the strip. They can forget it. $2.50 for 9.1 miles. Nope. All right, everybody. I have given up on trying to get offers to come in. Nothing is happening. So I decided to show you the doggy just laying here on the cool tile and pull up the numbers. So this is how much money we made so far and the miles per gallon. And you can see uh, the hourly rate. Mom, uh, you can see the stats below with Uber Eats and DoorDash and all that good stuff. So, well, I guess that's it. So I'm sorry to say this has to be the end of the video. And I thought I was gonna get some exciting big offer at the end and instead I got butt kissed. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.